This is my man, Gerald. And if you saw the last video when I was with Brett on camera, I may have mentioned Brett, Gerald shaking his head going like this, but you gotta tune into that video to see exactly what we were talking about. For this video, I see something incredibly unique. I usually see some sort of plus one, plus two on a three axis table. Sometimes it connects, sometimes it communicates well, sometimes not, but something unique inside of here, Gerald, and I'd love to talk about that today. Sure. I just want to also mention it's great to be here with you, Tony, and moving into the value proposition of this Leadwell machine to go with the previous video, it all ties together. Okay? Yeah, and value proposition is key here, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, it really is. So this machine, being a four plus one, all four simultaneous axes can move plus a fifth positioning axis, okay? The unique thing about this machine compared to a lot of other four plus one machines that are on the market is that this table, rotary table, is integrated right into the saddle of the machine. So in the X and the Y axis, this is not sitting on top of the work table from a three axis machine. It's literally bolted into the axis saddle of the X and Y axis. So that really increases, enhances positioning accuracy, repeatability, gives a little bit more stability and rigidity. Plus it allows for a little bit more clearance height, clearance height underneath the seat. You have described so many conversations I've had, Gerald, and when I speak to the audience out there and I go into the machine shops, the number one complaint of knowing that they need to do more than just three axes mm -hmm. is how much Z axis they lose when they pop a trunnion on right. there, when they pop that machine. And vice versa, they know that they need it, so if I'm forward thinking enough, mm -hmm. then this is the answer is because the answer. I know I'm gonna need it. Absolutely, and we designed the machine with a little taller column to help compensate for that extra clearance height that I've been talking about all this time. Now, I have a little bit of a cheat code because before we hit record on any camera, I ask a, ask a few couple of questions <laughs> so I don't just look like I'm making things up along the way, right? Yeah. So if we look inside this machine, yeah. there is a centerpiece in there that we know, you and I, spins mm -hmm. in a circle. Yes, sir. But it looks like if I was to bolt to the outside, that is removed from my opportunity to be able to now spin in that circle. But right. you have told me those pieces can get removed if I need a bigger workpiece to go in there. That's right. You've got 33 inches of clearance in between the two axes of the trunnion, all right? So you've got that much um, diameter to work with when you're machining parts inside this table. The two side plates come off, they're removable. You can mount a fixture plate or mount a part directly to that that's larger diameter. With those two side plates removed, now you have the clearance to rotate that part and do it, uh, additional larger work pieces. And to that point, now we can talk back about the Z-axis again, because as we're expanding here, we are probably expanding here exactly. as well. You guys have kind of thought of it all, the value proposition as well. I want to ask you a question that I don't know the answer to, mm -hmm. but I know on your other machines, you're able to, to create a really nice finish almost to the point of machines that are dedicated to only finish. Are we right. getting a good finish on this one as You're well? You're getting a great like finish. Already... Okay. Great finish on this machine too. It comes uh, standard with a 12,000 RPM uh, spindle. It is uh, robust, it's high torque, it gives you a lot of flexibility, not only for doing finishing work, but also in a job shop environment. It gives you that extra torque you need to do uh, mild steels and tool steels and things like that. So it's really a well-rounded machine it's very versatile, but the surface finish on this machine is impeccable. Gerald, you're my hero. You're my best friend in the world right now. Thank you so much hey. for explaining this machine you to myself it. and the yeah. audience. FFG, we obviously have Leadwell. This could be an opportunity to advance what's currently going on in your three-axis world by forward thinking into what you can do in a four plus one. Okay.